Hello everyone, this is Wednesday, July the 29th, and today for our Upper Room Reading, uh, we have a uh, regular scripture is found in Psalms, 34th chapter, 1 through 8, and the focal verse this morning is verse 8. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are those who take refuge in him. Uh, for today's reading it comes from Singapore. And Florence Fong sends us this today. She says, The pungent smell of the durian often brings back fond childhood memories for me. My late father used to lug home gunny sacks of durian, durians from Malaysia. My mother would line the floor with newspapers and my family of six would gather around to enjoy this delicacy. It was an important family time for me. In the past, it seemed a long wait until the durian season when we could once again enjoy the fruit. These days, durians are readily available in many places, even in supermarkets. Most people just take them for granted. Those who have never tasted the durian may simply be put off by its unpleasant smell and its thorny appearance. Likewise, those who do not know Jesus Christ, King of Kings, or have never tasted his goodness, may just turn away from him based on limited understanding of who he is. But by opening our hearts to God's goodness revealed in Jesus, we can find the joy that comes when we make a commitment to follow Jesus wherever he may lead us. And let us pray. Well, before that, I think we'll, we'll put the, uh, the thought for the day, which I think is really neat too. The thought for the day is, when I take a step of faith to follow Jesus, I will surely taste God's goodness. Now, we'll pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for your love and the gift of salvation. Help us to discover your goodness as we learn to trust in you. Amen.